So today's video is going to be a tutorial um, using a couple of the all, well, using only the eyeshadows from the Twi um, shadows from Glamour Eyes. Um, this is a request and something that I've been meaning to do for a while, ever since they came out basically, um, is to do tutorials using just those colors, because I know a lot of people will buy like the 10 set and then wonder like, okay, what kind of tutorial can I do with them? Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is one of the first ones that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do like a more dramatic one, which is this, and I'm going to do a more neutral one, so yeah, you can get both of those, I guess, if you're into that. Um, so this is the look that I came up with. This is very dark and very purple and shiny. I have some crazy um, thick eyelashes on as well. So yeah, if you want to know how to do it, then here's the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a little bit of the purple color into the crease first. And the color that I'm using is Premonition. Um, this is a really cool color because it's a purple, but it has a lot of different colors in it. Um, you may not be able to see well, but it, it's really interesting. And it looks light, but when you blend it out, it can turn into like a darker purple. It's really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that color and apply it very lightly into my crease. Um, the reason why I'm doing that first is because I find it easier to do that and then put the black color on top. So yeah, I'm just going to use a 217 and just get a little bit of that color and then um, put it in my crease and lightly blend it up. And once you have that color placed, um, the next thing is I'm going to use a highlight color. This is called Family Secret. And it's just a nice like white um, shimmery kind of highlight. It kind of rubs out to like a silver. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and just use that, a little bit of that, and apply that onto my brow bone. And I'm just going to use that and I'm going to blend it with the purple that we already have placed. Okay, and then once you have that done, the next main thing is going to be adding the black, which is going to make it a true um, smoky eye, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, and I'm going to use a black base because the color I'm using has a lot of shimmer in it, and I want it to pick up. Um, you can see this is called Black Ice, and you want to use a sticky base to get the shimmer in it. You can't see too well. It doesn't pick up very well on camera, but it's really pretty. So I'm just going to take this. This is a NYX um, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Black Bean. And I'm just going to put a little bit onto my lid. And then I'm just going to take a brush like a 252 and just smooth that out. Once you have that black on, I know it doesn't look great, but we're going to go over it with um, the black ice color. And I'm just using a 239 and I'm just going to press that color right on the lid. You may get a little bit of fallout, but it's nothing that you can just clean up after. I recommend doing this before you do your foundation or anything, so. You have that color placed and you don't want it to really, um, the black to go up anymore. I'm just going to go back with that purple color and I'm going to use that to blend um, the black out to make it all nice and seamless with the purple. You can see when you put the purple over it's going to make a really nice like shimmery color. It's really pretty. Okay, and then once you have that shape formed, um, it's not the exact same, but I don't really care. Um, as a highlight, again, I'm just going to take the Family Secret color, and I'm going to use a pencil brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that, and I'm just going to put it right onto the inner corner. And just blend it up with those colors. Added a little bit too much. I'm just going to blend that out. That's better. Just has a nice um, inner corner highlight. And then underneath the eye, I'm just going to use um, a little bit of the black color on a brush just to get it right underneath the eye. I'm just going to apply Feline Eye Coal from MAC. And then for to finish up the rest, I'm just going to go ahead and apply lashes. You can't really see. Um, I'm, the ones I'm going to use is the 90s from um, Gypsy Lashes, and you can get these on the Glamour Doll website as well, so that's really cool, kind of handy, you can get everything in one go. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna show you how to finish up the rest of the look. Okay, so then once I'm done with eyes, um, it looks like this. 
I got these really full eyelashes on. I think it works for something like this, especially if you're going out. Um, it really adds to the whole effect, I guess. Um, for cheeks, I'm using this like baby pink color right here from the uh, pen palette. And I'm just gonna put a little bit lips I want to keep it pretty neutral um, I don't look so good with uh, nude lips so this is about as nude as I'll go and the color I'm using is hue which looks like this um, it's not really a nude it's more of like a light pinky nude on my lip um, natural lip color though it kind of meets them out a little bit that looks like doesn't look great on me um so to make it a little bit more wearable i'm gonna take this color this was from the liberty of london collection this is ever hip um it's a little bit of like a corally kind of lipstick and i'm gonna put this over it and it's gonna make it a little bit more like warmth into my face yeah just like that and it's just gonna it makes it a little bit more um orangey peachy um I kind of like it. So yeah, that is um, a tutorial, a very dramatic tutorial, using all of the um, twice shadows from Glamour Doll Eyes. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, yeah, so I do hope you enjoy this. I'm definitely going to be sure to do a more neutral um, tutorial using some of the other colors. So be sure to stay tuned for that, because I know a lot of people were asking about that and stuff. So it's something that I figured I should do. And uh, yeah, so I do hope you enjoy it. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.